They say all good things must come to an end. Produce industry leaders, produce growers, and produce lovers all gathered this week for the 2021 Southern Exposer Show. Chip Carter is at the trade floor for the very latest. In Orlando, Florida, with more from Southern Exposure, I'm with Kim St. George from Renaissance Food Group. Kim, RFG is one of those companies that fills an unseen role. You don't always see the brand name, but you see the work at the end of the day, like these beautiful platters right here. The party favorites, that's under the Fresh Garden Highway label. That is true. And actually, you, what you're going to see is most of our innovation. So you might not see it under our brand, but you'll see the innovation. And that's what we're showing here today. We have a lovely table full of both fruits and vegetables, but uh, both on the packaging side and also on the product side. This looks like something I'd be very happy to put out before a ball game or something when I got people coming up. Well, not only that, but we also have, you know, seven different cells. So you've got a vegetable of the day or a vegetable of the week. So you've got your basically your vegetables for the week. Well, we also know if you eat them all at one day, you're even healthier. Exactly. That's that's our that's what we strive to do. Which after the year we have all just had is a very welcome thing. What's it like to be out here? with all of this big extended family and friends again after all of these months? Oh, you know, it's something that we all definitely needed in this industry. We all miss our industry people and to be able to see everyone again and be able to touch and feel the products, it's, it's really nice to be back yeah. and especially back at Southern Exposure. It is wonderful to be back. And in fact, speaking of friends, I'm taking this with me. Thank you very much. I see Jeff Olson from the Chuck Olson Group. Jeff, how are you doing, buddy? How are you today? I am good, man. It's good, good to good. see you again. See you. you having a good week? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Just glad to be here and uh, glad to be back and getting in touch with our customers and friends and just uh, just a great atmosphere and we're just uh, just blessed to be here. Now, you guys are one of the, it's the Southeast Produce Council and it's Southern Exposure. You're one of the Western companies that's here. You are a grower, packer, shipper, fruits. Tell us a little bit about what Chuck Olson Company so does. We, uh, Chuck Olson Company was uh, founded in 1910 from my great grandfather, who came from Denmark. Uh, we started growing oranges, lemons, table grapes, peaches, plums, and nectarines. And uh, nowadays we're still doing the same thing. And so uh, it's just a fourth fourth generation family company and uh, proud to be here. You know, I tell you, in, in this industry, a lot of time it's about innovation and tradition that go hand in hand. Yes, sir. Yeah. And our family tradition is what, uh, you know, what got us here and uh, just learning from my, my father and my great grandfather and grandfather and uh, just still keep trying to keep the tradition going. And passing it on as you go along. I think they call that paying it forward. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So uh, what's it been like just to just to be out and about and feel the freedom of moving around in a crowd? Oh, especially coming from California. Uh, it's <laughs> it's uh, it's a special feeling. So we're able to go out and have a meal with uh, some of our customers and friends. And uh, it's been wonderful. It has been a wonderful week in Orlando, Florida. I'm Chip Carter from SoutheastProduceWeekly.com reporting for RFD TV. Thanks a lot, Chip. We're going to hear back from him coming up at 11.30 a.m. Eastern.